deal. That was a hard hit, and my knee would agree with that. So we're here at Cedar Lake Speedway. Uh, we got here a little bit late, so we're kind of rushing right now, getting the car set up. I got to get all my fire stuff on. Uh, then we got pit meeting, uh, engine heat, and then we qualify. First time qualifying with a 305, so we'll see how things go. Sorry for the rushed intro. Um, we're going to get going here. Well, uh, we kind of got engine heat in. Now it's raining. I don't know. We got a little bit of a system moving towards us. The boys are here, so I'd rather not rain this out. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it's about 8 o'clock here. A little bit after 8 o'clock. We have not touched the racetrack yet outside of engine heat and uh, track pack. We're just kind of waiting. They've canceled qualifying. They will not be call qualifying. We're just going to be running right into the feature. They had a whole pill draw system for that. The whole point of coming here was to try qualifying. Not that I don't want to race, of course. Kind of sucks, you know. So we'll just go on, run a feature, and then uh, we'll be off to tomorrow at Arlington. I'll be starting seventh row inside. That's where my pill draw decided to put me. So we'll see what happens, you know, as long as I can stay out of trouble. <laughs> cool. You know, finish a feature, have some fun. You know, learn a few things. It's totally different Cedar Lake than we're normally getting, so we'll see how things go. Many hours later. So I apologize for the lack of video here. There's just not a lot going on. We've been waiting around here for the last uh, hour and a half. It's now about 9.30. I'm gonna get ready here, get in the car, and uh, go race the feature. Like I said, we're gonna be starting seventh row inside. So let's just uh, see how things go. <laughs> That's not, uh, not at all how I wanted that to go. We avoided absolute catastrophe, but uh, man, that uh, that finish really makes this trip just twice as not worth it. Sit around and wait for six hours to race for three laps and... You're a pussy. That's very disappointing. But 
Uh, it's racing, and uh, we're only down a header and a nerf bar, which is substantially better than I thought it was going to be. That was a hard hit, and my knee would agree with that. I smoked that dude, so I I, I thought for sure it was going to be a bent chassis or a f***ed up, for, you know, shock or whatever it may be, but uh, we got lucky tonight, so that's it. 3D car, one race, no practice, no qualifying, nothing. Just uh, go out there and do it, and pray to God you did something right, and, uh, you know, Tonight wasn't our night. We'll be off to Arlington tomorrow. Two races, two features, full show, the whole shebang. Hopefully none of this stuff. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do the whole spiel. Thank you very much. The next day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, it's a vastly different day here from yesterday at Cedar Lake. It's sunny. The sun is shining here at Arlington Raceway. Double features tonight. Two features here. We got the first feature, which is a makeup from three weeks ago. And then we got the second feature, which is just the usual show here for this evening. I'll be starting on the pole of the first feature here tonight. We're gonna see what the track is looking like for that. Very excited here, but very excited to be back at Arlington. Been a long three weeks here without this racetrack. Interesting night at Cedar Lake last night, so we're gonna try to make up for that here this evening, have a better run, so. I apologize for the lack of video last night at Cedar Lake. That's why I'm combining both of these videos today. I only got like three or four laps in last night during the feature at Cedar, and there was nothing before that. So sorry about the lack of content from that, but I'll try to make up for that tonight here a little bit. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we go out there, have some fun, and turn some solid laps here. If I can put together a solid first feature, we might have a shot at the podium. We'll see what happens. But as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you if you got to this point of the video. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends about Forged and Dirt. Lately, some of my numbers have been dripping a little bit, which happens towards the end of the season. It happened last year, too. People are more focused. They're not looking at YouTube as much and watching racing stuff. But if you can, help me out. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Instagram. Whatever it may be, you can follow my Facebook. You can go to my uh, Instagram as well. Follow that. Just anything you can to support the channel. We appreciate it. Changing out headers there after last night. Shout out to the Steens, letting us borrow these here. Getting everything ready to rock. Gonna fire this thing off, make sure she's running good. We'll see how things go from there.
was exactly what I did not want to happen. Just lost my cool as well. I was gonna win that race. And then uh, a power steering line went loose and uh, I pulled every tear off I had. I couldn't see, I wasn't turning the car correctly. I almost drove over Trevor Service's uh, right rear. I had to pull off because we got another heat and another feature. So, man, this sport will kick your ass. Many hours later. Sorry, he raced number two, Dan Greep, Wade Hansen, the 54 of Mike Steen, the 7D of Dave Becker, 30 of Matt Johnson, 10 of Trevor Service, the 15 of Ly uh, Layla Eisenshank round out the starting order. Well, folks, uh, it's a little bit later post heat race, as you can tell by the sun being completely down. But um, we were leaning out and popping, and uh, we almost blew the thing up. So had I have gone probably another lap, lap and a half, that thing would have melted down. Um, another, another race where uh, we got to pull off. Don't finish. So I want to talk about a trying year. One more 